Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here. And if you're catching me live at 930 this morning, I have to apologize to all my regulars at 10 a.m. I'm so sorry I had to go a little earlier this morning. Um, something happened last night and I it's kind of thrown my schedule for a loop. Um, our son, who studies up at the University of Waterloo in Canada, um, they received kind of a directive that they strongly encouraged all the kids to move out of residence. A lot of them already had, but since uh, our son's an international student and he has a co-op term there this summer, um, we were going to just let him stay up in residence. But um, now I have a feeling that things are... Um, uh, less people will be on campus and uh, the situation might get worse for him. Like, So we just made this rash decision last night that we were going to go pick him up. So my husband is leaving today to go pick him up. So this morning I'm just getting everything arranged. Um, we're trying to maintain social distancing while we pick him up. So I'm going to pack him food so he doesn't need to stop off anywhere and just to try and get there and back across the border without any um, major issues. So um, that's what we're trying to do today. It's kind of crazy. And so I need to run to the store real quick to get, um, hopefully we'll find the supplies that I need um, to keep him fueled all the way there, get him some um, uh, Starbucks little canned coffees and stuff like that. So anyway, it's kind of a crazy morning, but I still wanted to do my live for you. And so I moved it up half an hour and I'm sorry I couldn't give you a lot of notice on that. But anyway, I'm so glad you're here. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. I just realized that when I looked on my Facebook channel, everyone's wearing green. I'm not wearing green. I was going to go run and get a shirt, but I was like, ugh. I know that you guys will understand. My card has some green on it, so hopefully that will make up for my lack of green. This is kind of a blue green, so not quite green, but I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, so anyway, today's Casing Tuesday, and that's when we take a card out of the catalog and we give it a makeover. And we have a Facebook group where you can join us, and we love it when you join us. And especially right now, especially right now. Um, because we can't all get out in the world and stuff, join us on our Casing Tuesday Facebook group. Take that challenge, take the card that we show for the week and create one for yourself. This week's card is pretty easy to do um, a copy of and so I think um, you will you will be able to work with it. And I'll show you what I did with mine and I'll show you the sketch. Um, first of all, let me show you what the card is that we are working with. So it's the card there that says wishing you happiness, that big um, uh, lipstick or pink centerpiece. And then we have those layers. So if we break down those layers, we get a sketch that kind of looks like this a lot less complicated than what the card was. So it's kind of nice to have it broken down so you can kind of see what the layers could be like. But with my card, I kind of kept the original um, band that goes across and I'm using a fabulous um, bundle called Band Together and it's in the annual catalog. I think it's been a little overlooked, but it's so beautiful. I just got it, actually I got it maybe a month or two ago, but I've been so busy with celebration stuff and mini catalog stuff, I haven't been able to showcase it. So I thought today would be a great time to highlight it. It is a just fabulous um, bundle, very pretty. It's got some intricate dyes and stuff. And so I want to show that to you. So I'm going to switch my cameras over. And um, I think I didn't plug in my mic today, but I hope... You guys can all hear me. Let me, before I do this, let me switch this mic over and let's see how my, if my microphone um, switched over. Let me switch it over to this mic. Hopefully this mic is, is good. If anyone's on here right now and can give me um, a little, um, thumbs up or can just let me know if my sound is still good. I would really be appreciative of that. So here are my cards. 
Aren't they beautiful? I made two of them and I'm going to make a third one in a different color just so you can see how versatile using this paper is and this um, band piece. So the bundle itself, let me move this out of the way first. The bundle is called Band Together and it has these great dies with this band shape. Let me move this into, let me see if I can show you better has this band shape that comes across, and then this is an intricate piece. It's got two of these. It's got one that's a little bit more, a little bigger and a little bit more intricate. And it's just fabulous. I just fell in love with, with it when I looked at it. And then I love the font on the greetings and the matching stamp set. I did not even use this beautiful flower. <laughs> I wanted to get it on there, but for this particular card layout, I found it a little difficult. So I'll have to use this flower on a different card. But all of these greetings would fit in this um, oval right here. So you can use it together to create a card. So you could use wishing you a happy birthday and you know, so it can be a birthday card. I decided to do you are amazing cards today because I just feel like that has good energy. I need a lot of good vibes and energy right now. So um, these would be um, nice cards that you could send to people right now. You are amazing. Um, lift people's spirits. So, okay. I think I've talked enough. Oh, one more thing I used on the die are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. It's this layer in the background here. Um, these are just really nice shape dies as well and they've got labels on it too and this one is also part of a bundle but I'm just using the dies now this bundle also if you get the bundle it also has words with it um, but I opted to go kind of off script by using the um, band together bundle with this one okay let me start I'm going to do some die cutting to start off with. Normally I haven't been doing a lot of die cutting on camera these days, but I'm going to show you how I did this die cutting because I think it's kind of important. Um, oh, and I forgot one of my cutting plates. Hey, even like put it away. That's not good. <laughs> All right. Okay. So with some of these intricate dies, I have a piece of wax paper that I just keep by my die cutting machine. And so when I'm going to die cut something like this stitch so sweetly die, it's got some stitching on it. And sometimes um, it can um, stick in the paper. And so rather than running it through the big shot with wax paper, if you just have this sitting on the side, you can just rub it. So I just leave it on the flat surface and kind of just give it a little rub. And then you'll want to put your whisper white or whatever cardstock piece on an angle. And then um, that will help to have it come in on an angle it cuts a lot better than if it's straight on um, and parallel so that's just a little tip that I like for this die and then these come out so easily and so nicely cut then right when you do that so that's my first piece that I need I also need to cut a, an oval out of whisper white and the oval I'm going to get out of these, um, they're called detailed bands dies. Here's my little oval. So I'll need a whisper white oval for that. And then let me just run that through. I don't need to run that one on wax paper. Generally smooth shaped dies don't have trouble releasing, um, but you could if you needed to. So there's my little oval. And then finally, Shift this back over. I want to cut this intricate piece right here. So I'm also going to rub, rub this onto some wax paper. And I will put this on here and then run it through the big shot. All right. So now. 
See how nicely everything kind of pops out when you do the wax paper before. So I'm just going to like move this mess over to the side for now. And then let's do our stamping. Our stamping is really simple in this case. I match, if I'm going to use a pretty peacock cardstock band, then I'm going to match the ink to my cardstock so it looks nice and put together. So I'll use the U. You are amazing stamp and you could theoretically like if you wanted to if you're more comfortable um, die cutting afterwards you could stamp first and die cut second um, but I didn't do that here depending on how good you are at stamping things straight that that would be my indicator if you have trouble getting it straight on your little oval then I would recommend stamping and then die cutting okay so we've got those two pieces now we're going to need a card stock base so um, I take a sheet of card stock and cut it in half and um, then it becomes eight and a half by five and a half and then I scored it right down the middle at the four and a quarter inch mark you can use your bone folder to smooth down the fold then I'm going to take a piece of the Best Dress Designer Series paper. This paper is fabulous. It's got a lot of florals on one side, and then on the other side, it has kind of um, some feminine images like lipstick, perfume, there's a stripe, perfume, shoes. So it's got a variety of mishmash. It's got some neutral shapes, it's got some florals, it's got a lot of florals so it's perfect to layer underneath here and I cut this piece to five inches by three and three quarter inches I've got some Tombow here oh this would be pretty too huh but now I've got it cut in the wrong direction if I was going to do it I would have done it like that that would have looked nice too but I am doing um a floral set right so you want to kind of keep the same theme going if you want I like to I like to do the same thing kind of all the same theme I'm kind of boring like that I do kind of like to have order so I'm gonna do an all floral set so I'll just add that on there and then I've got my whisper white piece that I cut with a stitch so sweetly dies add some Tombow to here and just make sure it is straight that looks good and then I'm going to take my band now I don't have to necessarily put Tombow on all this intricate but I do need to make sure I've got Tombow on these two kind of thick ends to anchor this piece in place so this piece measures five inches across so when you're placing this it should match up with the edge of your designer series paper just kind of make sure it's centered and then just pull it across like that so does not look pretty and then finally with this piece I'm going to just use like maybe three dimensionals to pop it up a little bit. Get rid of the backings. They are sticking to me like crazy. Maybe I should use your my take your pick tool. I think I should, but I haven't. I'll use it in a second. So then you just want to center this piece over top of your band and then push it down so you've got that. And then just to kind of accent this piece a little bit, I'll take my take your pick tool and I'll take some rhinestones and just add them to my piece. You could put this here or you could put it up here but I put all of them there so 
I think I kind of need to keep the pattern going if I'm doing a card set. So there is the card. Isn't that easy? Like really, really easy. But doesn't this card look like you took a very, very long time to make it, right? And oh, which is your favorite color? I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I think last night when I made the first two, I think this Black Fairy Bliss one was my favorite. Now I also really like this peacock colored one. Lipstick one is nice too, but what's your favorite? We've got lovely lipstick, pretty peacock, and blackberry bliss. I think they all look kind of nice, huh? So let me move those into the camera a little bit. You can let me know later on. And oh, there's some more people that just joined me and I, I, um, I know I have to apologize again. You might not have seen the beginning of my video. Um, I'm sorry I had to come on here a little earlier today. Um, our son, um, last night we made the decision to pick up our son from Canada. And uh, so we have to do a lot of rearranging of stuff this morning and I have to run to the store. And uh, so it got kind of chaotic really quickly. And I thought if I push this up half an hour, then it won't break up my morning as much. And um, so, um, ooh, let's see. Some people like the pretty peacock and some people, Mary likes, so I've got like all equals. That doesn't help. No, I'm just kidding. You can like what you like. But I, I've got one for Blackberry Bliss, one for Pretty Peacock, and one for Lovely Lipstick. So we've got like a really great uh, mix. So that's good. That means that the cards uh, will each stand up on its own and it's probably more just color preference. So that is kind of cool. Um, so I hope you guys have a great week. I do have a project. Um, I hope to bring it to you tomorrow. I should be able to bring it to you tomorrow. If not, it will be Thursday, but I'll be doing it live over on my YouTube channel at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's gonna be kind of a fun project for a funny project. I don't know what what you're gonna make of it, but I think, I think it will uh, make you smile. And um, so I have that, that planned and in the works, provided my day doesn't go sideways like it did last night. But um, I've already got the project designed, so hopefully it's just a matter of photographing it and uh, getting it up for my blog and getting it all scheduled. So I know the behind the scenes, like sometimes it looks like, why can't you just throw up something quickly? There's like so like many steps that go behind this. Like me just forgetting one thing over on the counter today is like amazing because there's so many things you have to think of when you're doing a production like this. It's just crazy. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Try to keep away from each other if you can do some paper crafting do something that that makes your heart happy um if it's safe for you to go for a walk go for a walk um, or walk around your your house or your apartment um uh, do some yoga um there's a lot of good um i just started um uh, watching some yoga programs on youtube and um I'm kind of yoga adverse because I'm not very good at it, but I have found that lately my body really needs it. And since I started doing maybe not yoga exactly, but some yoga light as I like to call it, I feel like my body feels a lot better. I'm a huge walker, but I feel like my body has loosened up a bit. And if you have like, you know, aches and pains and stuff like that, and um, it's, it's really good. Even if you're someone that's not flexible like me, I'm so not flexible, but, um, over the last little while that I've been doing it, I've actually gained a little bit of flexibility and I certainly have gained, um, better range of motion. So you know, now's a good time to try meditation, to try yoga. Um, make sure you get up and move every once in a while. If you have a sedentary job, um, just take care of yourself, you know, and, um, I'm, I'm hoping that all of this will pass quickly and that we can get back on track. We just need to like not infect each other. So um, I will be trying to come to you a lot more often once we get our son back. I think I'll feel a lot better about having him home and having him safe. 
All right. Thank you for, um, thank you, Cindy. Um, uh, she said you stay safe also, and I will, I will try to do that. All right, guys, um, I will see you later this week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I apologize again for uh, coming to you a little early today. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.